This leaf, on a good day, under ideal conditions, may be taking about 2% of the sun's energy and turning it into something that the plant can use. Okay? The plant uses this to make the food that we eat, to make the clothes that we wear, to make the air that we breathe. And we've talked about how with more and more people on this planet, we need to find a way to get more and more out of these plants. As composers, um, our material is sound. We work with sound much in the same way that sculptors work with clay. And so anytime that we get the opportunity to get our hands on new clay, as it were, or come up with new ways of generating sound material to work with, that's always very exciting and that's very interesting. If we can find a way to distribute sunlight more uniformly among all the leaves from top to bottom, then we can make leaves and plants happier and they will grow faster and they will give us more food. It makes you have more emotion attached to your data because you know how hard you worked on it. But to have someone else you know, make their own work, their own hard work, to make music to your data is stellar. It's out of this world. Sonifying this data, I think, provides the listener with the ability to glimpse into the complex but otherwise silent world within a plant cell. This unique perspective allows one to imagine firsthand the intricate concert that is life. Uh, just in the audience that was there today, there were a lot of people who I'm sure don't come to the seminar series in our department, but uh, came along and were engaged by, by that beautiful music. Uh, they, they start off as a very small plant and they put out one leaf at a time, so they have one leaf that'll you know, emerge and it starts to grow. And as that leaf is growing, another leaf comes out over, over the top of it and it's growing at the same time. Eventually this one will stop growing, um, but then you, know, you, you get more and more that come out one on top of each other. And so it's like this kind of like a chorus line of pieces coming in one after each other. The visual aspect of looking at data is dramatically different from actually hearing your data. It makes a big difference. This is supposed to be a photosynthesis rap. I'm, I'm a pianist, so this is my first time rapping in public, but I, I figured I could get away with it since uh, science is the cause. In just 35 years, the FAO fears that as population boost, we need scientific peers to increase photosynthetic efficiency. That will be the key, as there will be billions more to feed. Um, I guess in my head, you know, being familiar with some of the data that the, the students and postdocs provided, it's not necessarily what I would have imagined, so it was nice, it was unexpected. I think we should have a jam session tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a jam session. <laughs>